Welcome to the Count Stacula YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Today, we're gonna take a look and review some of the Czech Lion coins in silver and gold. All right, let's get into it. So this series actually began in 2017 and they were released in this uh, 15 count tube if you were to buy a roll, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, let's take a look at the design. So we have the two-tailed tiger, I'm sorry, lion. <laughs> and in more recent depictions of them, they've uh, put the crown on the, on the lion, but here you see uh, the crown is sitting next to the lion along with the shield and I really like this design. I think they uh, just came out looking very very nice. Um, when it initially came out I don't think people were very much into this series or aware but um, this was a little bit unusual in that um, it's a Nui Island uh, country of issue, which is kind of weird because on one side you have, okay, it's, it's from Nui Island, and then on the other side you have Czech Republica. Okay, so that was a little off-putting. You'll notice that this is not a, a reeded edge, and yes, I think they have milked up a little bit, as you can see. Um, no big deal, kind of to be expected, but yeah, they are beautiful coins. And with this particular release from 2017, you have to be careful because a lot of people are touting this as a low mintage, rare coin, um, and trying to sell it for top dollar on the secondary market. And, you know, who can blame them? But when you see uh, listings where they're offering um, $1,000 for one coin, just be aware. That's way above the fair market value for these coins. And most of them probably do have some condition uh, issues with milking. But it is an excellent design. And I guess one, one of the unique features of this series is that um, it is a little bit thicker than a normal um, bullion coin. It's actually 37 millimeters in width uh, compared to the normal 38, 39, and 40, which you typically see. So it's a little harder to source a 37 millimeter capsule, uh, which is why I just went ahead and left these in the original tube and yeah maybe it was just the uh the the one on the sitting on the top of the tube that that got the the milk spots I mean I don't know if they're all that bad but yeah they all seem to have some condition issues but it's a beautiful coin set series and I'm I'm just happy to own a full tube of these uh, no intention of selling them anytime soon. However, I do think that they make a great investment now that the series has definitely picked up quite a bit um, in popularity. Over here, I have all the subsequent releases in the uh, one ounce format. So let's take a look. I think actually I have another beautiful example of that first year issue coin here in the 37 millimeter capsule that we can take a look at. Before we move on to the next one. So in this series that began in 2017, the mintage for the one ounce silver is 10,000. And there was no gold release in 2017 for this series. But in 2018, they did include a 
a little bit more variety to this series, I guess, to um, expand uh, the offerings. But you'll notice that they kept the same design. There's really no difference visually from the two coins. However, I believe in 2018, the one distinction that they made is that it is a reeded edge. So it went from a smooth design to a reeded edge in 2018. So that's the one distinction. And, uh, you know, they fetch quite a bit of a premium, even though that in 2018, um, I, I was looking for vintage figures and I, I, all I could see was that it was somewhere between 18,000 and 20,000 for this. So they practically doubled the mintage with the, uh, the next in the series. And, um, they did come out with, like I said, the gold one ounce version. And I did happen to pick one up a little later, I believe in 2019. And it was still a good deal at that point. Um, you'll notice it is still 37 millimeters in diameter, but it's just a little less uh, thick in the gold. And it has a $50 denomination bought an, in just an absolutely stunning, beautiful design that I knew would be a wise choice to pick up the first year of issue. And they only made 400 of these gold coins. So it is truly a low mintage gold coin, which is very exciting to own. So I'm really happy to have that piece. I would have loved to pick up uh, the subsequent releases in gold. However, uh, finances change year to year and I'm not always able to do so. However, in the 2019, we see again, the same design, no changes except for the date, still now reeded edge and the same two-tailed lion seated next to the shield and crown. And they could have kept going with the, this series and I'm sure it would have continued with all of its popularity um, as it began to grow, but they went ahead and they changed things up in 2020. And let's go ahead and take a look at what they did. Uh, definitely experimenting with the design in 2020, you've got the shield as a large emphasis of the coin now. And on that shield, we have some sort of bird, phoenix, or whatever. And they dressed up the lion to wear the crown, which I think is a little um, awkward, but let's go with it. <laughs> I suppose there's other coins that put crowns on lions and they look okay, like the Roaring Lion. But uh, let's take a look at the obverse and we also see some differences here. So let's just get that side by side comparison. Now what I liked about the original effigy is that they put that little leaf branch below the um, portrait. I like that. And in the new one, they just um, emphasized the text of Queen Elizabeth II, the year, and they just, you know, decorated the year, embellished it with a little bit of that branch, keeping somewhat of the theme going. Um, but I actually think that this was kind of experimental, and I, I'll be honest, I don't like it. <laughs> Um, I do think that I, I give them points for trying, um, effort and it, <laughs> okay. And E for effort, but, um, overall, I think that this is 
this is a much greater design than than this. Um, so I was happy to see that this was not a, a permanent change and that they uh, had resolved to move on from from that design in 2020. And they actually came out with something even better in 2021. And here we have the lion portrait. Now he's still wearing the crown, but it's up close. You can see all his whiskers and they um, dressed him up with, with the, uh, the leaves on the, on the reverse here. And I think they did a fine job with this design, capturing a lot of attention. They also took the uh, obverse of the coin and threw it um, a completely um, new cosmetic <laughs> fix. And if you look, if you look at the coin and you, you flip it over um, horizontally, you'll see that the shield's off center by probably a good 15 degrees. Uh, which is which is strange because the portrait of the, of the queen being smaller um, is still kind of upright. So that was a little strange to me and uh, I think to others as well. But you know, rather than putting the shield now with the phoenix on the um, reverse, they they put it on on the obverse and they tweaked it by 15 degrees. Um, so a nice uh, a nice rendition. I think those were pleasant changes o overall. I think it would have looked a little bit, a little bit better had they centered the, the shield and the portrait as well. But, you know, <laughs> we can't all be, they can't all be winners, right? Um, in, the, in the coin engraving business, there's gonna be, there's gonna be good, there's gonna be bad, and there's going to be the ugly, and yeah, you know, it's up to it's up to you to decide. Um, I think that this uh, is is one fairly unique piece that will probably go down in history um, as as kind of like an oddball um, with that with that shield, but really a fantastic design. Oh, let's talk about mintage for a second by, before we head on to the next coin. Um, so the 2021 actually came out with um, a 24,000 mintage. So they've been steadily increasing it each year that they come out with the one ounce silver coins. And they do have other sizes. We're gonna go over a couple of them, but um, I, I mainly stick to the one ounce and the 10 ounce. But in 2020, this one, they uh, minted 22,950 of these coins. And in 2019, uh, it was, I'm finding figures between 23,000 and 25,000. Um, 2018, it was, like I said, 18 to 20,000. And then in 2017, 10,000. So steadily increasing each year and um, probably due to popular demand. Let's take a look at the most recent release that came out in 2022. And there we have another portrait of the lion, this time facing us eye to eye. So before it was the profile and now it, he's directly looking at us. And I think they did a fine job. And if you flip it over, it looks like they they took our um, uh, suggestion to heart there, centering the shield and putting the queen um, kind of more right in place there with with the design. So um, so they still have that that shield shape, but they made the the phoenix kind of uh, expanding all the way out towards the rim of the coin. And I think this is definitely an improvement overall. So really 
a fantastic design for 2022. It looks like they are finally coming together and um, putting out a really, um, <laughs> we'll say, tested product and and uh, well uh, reviewed product throughout the years. They're improving. Um, so interesting new release for 2022. Let's take a closer look at some of the 10 ounce coins in this series. So they started in 2018. And in 2018, they released the 10 ounce, they released the one ounce gold bullion and a few other sizes as well that we're not gonna go over. But um, here you can get a better look at this chunky, magnificent coin. Um, and it's held up really well. It has not uh, milked up like some of the one ounce coins have. And that beautiful uh, edge is is just so thick and glistening there. Um, so the, the 2018, they minted 400 of these 10 ounce coins. So, I think it represents a good investment coin. If you uh, got in early enough or got a deal on it, um, this is definitely one that will offer a, quite a good return. I think most of these coins offer quite a good return um, being that they are, you know, they have really nice designs. However, in 2019, I just didn't like the design. I don't have one to show you. Uh, but it's similar to to the original design. They just they tweaked it. They actually um, gave it a little bit more of a I don't know a funny looking face and added some flowers. Called that the reverse proof. And then they also released it as a as a ten ounce. I didn't pick it up. I kind of regret that. But you know because now I don't have a complete set of the ten ounce releases technically. But this is the um, 2020 and you'll notice mine has maybe toned up just a little bit nicely but the difference between the 10 ounce and the one ounce is that these don't have uh reeded edges in the 10 ounce and i think they've kept kept that um going throughout the series so far you look at the denomination is 25 dollars. i don't know if we talked about that but yeah $25 on the denomination for the 10 ounce coins and this this capsule actually comes out really easy so we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and look at it closely uh, and carefully without the capsule absolutely stunning beautiful so here it is the 10 ounce collection let's take a look at the 2021. Yeah, just a fantastic piece. I think, you know, I would have liked to have some of the gold um, coins for sure, but uh, these are just so much more affordable when compared to the gold. And believe it or not, they actually have quite a low mintage. For example, this uh, 2021, or I'm sorry, 2020 has a mintage of only 500, right? 500 of these were, were minted, 400 of these were minted, and then in uh, 2021, 500 again, 500 were minted. Uh, you'll notice it's, a, it's identical, except for the denomination and, and the reeded edge. And then the, the most recent release, the 2022, here we have the other portrait of the lion. And in this, they upped the mintage to 1,000. So something to be aware of um, because they still charge just as much <laughs> for them when when they come out, maybe even more each year as, as the hype kind of uh, really grows with these coins. They, they definitely take note and 
and uh, jack up the price. So I'm having difficulty fit fitting everything in the the camera frame, but yeah, let's just fix things up a little bit nicer. So there you have it. That is the um, the full spread of the Czech Lion coins in my collection. They also make kilos and even three kilo versions and some of the newer ones, and reverse proofs and holograms and. Uh, you know, actually have holograms on some of those kilo coins in, in a special mintage. It's really kind of hard to keep up with all the various releases that they have um, in this series. And they they call them investment coins uh, out of the Czech Mint. And uh, I think I think that's that's fairly appropriate as they all tend to do well on the secondary market. But as I said, with the 2017, the first release of 10,000 mintage, um, be aware there are some unscrupulous sellers on eBay trying to get $1,000 for them um, selling those coins individually. And uh, that, that's just way higher than the fair market value for, for those coins. Uh, there was a recent sale of a tube just like this 2017 at auction um, in October of this year, 2022, and uh, it sold for, there were three auctions. One of them sold for $3,500, and the uh, other two were um, $2,800 and $2,250, as I recall, for the tube of just 15. So um, yeah, they do command quite a bit of a premium, and I'm lucky to have picked up the coins uh, when I did at bullion prices, so that's fantastic. But being that I have no need to sell my coins um, at the moment, they're just going to stay in my collection for now. So I'm happy. Although, you know, if you were a flipper or if you were more investment wise than I, perhaps you would definitely pull the trigger and take action on something that has gone up in value um, by several hundred percent. It just definitely makes sense. But, you know, I'm attached to my coins. I love my collection. I have no intention of selling any of these coins. Um, and in fact, I'm still looking for the 10 ounce 2019 ugly ass lion coin. And if you got one, hit me up down in the comments because I want to buy it from you. All right. So you see how um, <laughs> this hobby can be addicting, right? Well, that is all for today, folks. I want to thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your comments down below. And go ahead and check out some of my nifty 3D printed boxes that I invented. And these, as you've seen, hold specifically my 10 ounce Czech Lion coins. Uh, I have other boxes for 10 ounce coins from the Perth Mint and other five ounce coins as well that we will explore as we go out throughout this series. So thank you so much for watching. Count Stacula, over and out.